How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and Apple has just released its latest update to iOS 18, iOS 18.1.1. And in this video, I'm gonna explain you why this software update is much more important than you actually think. Let's go ahead and get started. So if we take a look at the release notes, all Apple is telling us about iOS 18.1.1 is this update provides important security fixes and is recommended for all users. So taking a look at this, you're definitely thinking, okay, this is one of those small, boring software updates, right? But the thing is, when we have a major software update like iOS 18, which was released like a couple months ago, every single one of those very first software updates like iOS 18.0.1, iOS 18.1, and now iOS 18.1.1, so this is the third software update after iOS 18, every single one of them is very important, not only because of the important security fixes, which are important, it's super important that you keep your iPhone safe, updated and those software updates will actually patch all of those problems and exploits that hackers and other organizations found so it's important to keep yourself updated but most importantly those first software updates are extremely important because of bug fixes i'm sure you're having bugs after updating to ios 18 right i'm going to talk about a few of them like for example if you go ahead and open up your settings and go to battery and then if you go ahead, let's wait a bit and go to battery health, I'm pretty sure your maximum capacity, your percentage right here dropped. It has probably dropped by one, two, or even five or 6%. I'm getting reports from you, from the followers of people who actually lost so much of their maximum capacity. And of course, this is the result of a major software update that sometimes will actually drain your battery like a lot. And of course, this will reflect on the maximum capacity. So software updates like iOS 18.1.1 will not only help you with your security updates, but also fixing those annoying bugs. Many, many people have a problem with your touch being unresponsive. So right here on your normal like homepage or UI, but within apps. So it's so, so common. I'm getting so many reports of people saying that the touch is just unresponsive. It feels like you have like a replaced screen, like a bad screen, but that's not the case. That's the software. So I'm getting so many reports on this. On top of that, control center. The control center sometimes, okay, you can manage to go ahead and arrange it the way you want, like this, for example, but sometimes you tap and hold and then you wanna add something and when you go ahead and add anything here and then when you go ahead and move it around it just bugs completely sometimes it crashes even sometimes it splits all of the controls that you have here into different pages so like this is so so annoying and many people are getting this situation again a software update like this could help you out so so much on top of that there are so many people with app compatibility issues so for example uh, Instagram. Instagram was working great, and then after you update to iOS 18, it's just buggy, it's just laggy, the app doesn't work. And I'm talking about Instagram, but this is like, it's happening to so many applications. And of course, after a software update like that, it could help so much. But on top of that, I'm gonna give you a tip here, is super, super important. Uh, make sure that those apps, all your apps, are updated. Because sometimes the app compatibility issues that you're facing, so some of your apps are being buggy, laggy, crashing, and so on, actually have to do with the fact that the apps themselves are not updated. So go ahead here, open up your app store, okay, let it load, and then go ahead here, tap on the top right hand corner on your profile page, your profile picture rather, and then go ahead here and pull down, all the way down as you can see right here, let it load, it has to load, and it's gonna be loading for a while as you can see, and then take a look at this, take a look at how many apps it's available for me to update. Like on the total, they are 32. Even though I have automatic updates available, sometimes this doesn't work. So it's very important that you go ahead and update all. So then you're gonna make sure you're not only in the latest version of iOS, but also your apps are on their latest version as well. So then they're gonna be way more compatible. This is super important. Another very common issue with iOS 18 will have to do with your connectivity. And I'm talking about connectivity as a whole. AirDrop, 
Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, your cellular data. There's so many people that are just not able to make phone calls or receive or take phone calls. So, so many people. I have actually this bug going on right now. I can't call certain contacts. It's, it's incredible. So all of those bugs that I'm mentioning here, please keep in mind that iOS 18.1.1 is not created. It was not built to fix everything that I'm talking about right here. But when you update your iPhone software, when you update iOS, you are actually reinstalling at least partially your operating system. And when you do that, when you reboot your device and you reinstall part of your operating system, then there's a high chance at least some of those bugs are gonna be fixed especially because those bugs that I'm talking about are not affecting everyone. They're affecting some devices for some reason. So when you go ahead and update, this reason that we don't know exactly what it is that's under the hood, sometimes it gets fixed and then you resolve the issue. So that's why it's so important to update those very first versions after a major software update. They can actually help you so, so much with fixing those issues. And of course, it'll help you with making your iPhone safe and patching all of those security services and security updates, okay? Uh, Apple actually has this page on Apple security releases where they actually tell you everything that was fixed in every single software update. But the thing is, they haven't updated yet. I'm recording recording this video just a few minutes after Apple has released iOS 18.1.1. So the latest information they have here is regarding 18.1. So the previous software update. So I just can't tell you exactly what Apple fixed in iOS 18.1.1 because they actually haven't told us. This will be updated soon, maybe today in a few hours, maybe tomorrow. And of course, I'm gonna have a link to this page right here in the description if you're interested in this, all right? And last but not least, before we wrap this up, please keep in mind that we are right now, The this software update was released today, so November the 19th, and in probably a couple weeks, we'll get iOS 18.2, which is the second big update of iOS 18. And I'm saying big because it is, it's huge. It has so many new features and Apple is already testing 18.2. It already has beta versions and I already have a video here on the channel about 18.2. So if you're interested in knowing what's to come, I do recommend that you take a look at this card, link in the description, go ahead and check it out. I have a video on the first beta of iOS 18.2 and there's so much about Apple intelligence, new features, integration with ChatGPT, Jenmoji, Image Playground, which is, it's not here at this point, but uh, I had it on my home screen. There's so much stuff in iOS 18.2 and I do recommend that you take a look, all right? So that's it, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. As usual, guys, bye-bye.